We have a rather bland design here inside of InDesign. Let's see if we can't make this look a little more interesting with a gradient feather. So here inside the layers panel, I have text on its own layer. There's an image layer just there and a background layer just there. So let's turn off background and text momentarily and unlock our image layer just here. So I'm liking this image showing up in roughly the top third of the document, but I'm also thinking it would be nice if the image slowly faded away the further down the page we go. So with the selection tool, I'm going to grab just the bottom edge here, drag this down to give us some more room to play with. So we need the gradient feather tool. We can either press shift G on the keyboard, or you can just come out to our tools panel just here and grab the gradient feather tool just here. So what we want to do is with our image selected, we want to be dragging from the area of the image that we want to be solid to the area of the image that we want to be transparent. So I'm going to be dragging from the middle down to the bottom. And as is the case in many Adobe programs, if you want something to be square, as in like 90 degrees, hold down the shift key while you do this. So holding down the shift key, if I click and drag from the middle down to the bottom, there it is, fantastic. So if I just click away, that's exactly what we were trying to achieve, very nice. Now guys, you can easily change this as well. So if I just go and grab that same tool, let's say I'd messed up and I'd drawn it, I get a bit of an angle like that. Um, you can very easily redraw this. So just click and drag, click and drag. Now if I want that nice and square, of course, hold down my shift key and I'll just replicate what I did a moment ago. There we go, let's go and turn on my layers again and click away. So there it is, our nice uh, new image with the gradient feather applied to it. Now, if you need to tweak this after the fact, I've already showed you that you can come back and grab the tool and simply redraw it. But if you like to do things by the numbers, I'll just select the image and look inside the effects panel, uh, which you can find under window effects. Now, this little FX icon showed up as soon as we applied this effect to the image. If you double click on that FX icon, you will open up the effects panel Here's gradient feather. You can actually manipulate things such as where the different gradient stops fall. You can change the type from say linear to radial. And you could also change the angle here as well if you prefer. I'll just cancel out of there. So uh, also if you wish to remove the effect, you can simply grab this FX icon and drag it down to the trash can like so. Let's undo that because I think that looks rather nice. So that's it there everybody, the gradient feather tool in InDesign.